Hi, I'm Laura Lively. Welcome to you and all of your parts. So last week we talked about the fourth A in my triple A's. Yeah, like I said, quadruple A just doesn't roll off the tongue, does it? Not really, but we did start last week talking about awareness. So now we'll hit my triple A's. It's funny, I went back and looked at my videos um, and it had been quite a while since I'd actually talked about these things specifically. And so I wanted to kind of maybe do an overview again, maybe give you some additional examples about why, you know, two years later, I still think this is really important. So I want to talk about what I see really as one of the really the very first things that we need to do with our parts in our parts work journey. And it's never bad to have a reminder for those of us that have been on the journey a little longer. But I feel like that the very first one, acknowledgement, is really important to start building a relationship with your parts. Why is that? Why do I need to acknowledge them? You might be saying, or a part of you might be saying. And I would say, because how do you feel? I'm asking you in total, how do you feel when you feel acknowledged? And maybe even more importantly, how do you feel when you don't feel acknowledged? What does that feel like in your body? What emotions does that evoke for you? Well, I would proffer that the same emotions that you feel as a person that does not is not acknowledged, whether that's because you did something nice for your friend, a member of your family, Maybe you accomplished something at work and you didn't even get a kudos for it. That's how your parts feel too. And many of us are older, birthday coming up soon. Um, and we may have spent 50 plus years of our lives, 40 plus years of our lives, 60 plus years of our lives, not even being aware that we had parts. So those parts of us have may have never been acknowledged. And acknowledgement, as hopefully if you've just reflected on a time when you were acknowledged and how wonderful that felt, or a time you weren't acknowledged and how kind of crappy that felt, acknowledgement is important. Why? Because it validates who we are. It validates that we have been seen and heard for who we are. And that's important. And it's important to us as a person but it's also important to our parts. I think this is like one of the first keys to us building a relationship with my part, our parts, my parts. I want to be able to see that part that no matter, and we'll talk about this next week because next week is probably the hardest of the triple A's, but I see the judgmental part I have. I see the hurt part. I see the part that wants a new pair of shoes. I see the part that wants to take a nap. I am seeing them. I am acknowledging that they are there. I am acknowledging that they have different desires, different agendas, different things that they want, different things that they think will make me happy. I see them all. I acknowledge that they are there. I've been pretty open about my journey with food and alcohol. Definitely had a problem with both. And um, also been pretty open that the last six months of 2023 were very difficult. You can go back and watch those if you're interested. And there was a point in January, February, 2024, that um, I, things were tough. Things were tough. And I heard my alcohol part, who I did a lot of work with, my alcohol subsystem back in 2019 and early into 2020. I check in with that part, just like I check in with my other parts. Most of the time, there's not a lot going on there. But one day in like February, January, February, I heard that guy. He said to me, it's getting hairy in here. You do something or I will. And so I acknowledged. And what I said to him was, I really thank you for showing up and letting me know that things are tough in the system right now. And I honestly, candidly, I was grateful that he gave me a heads up. And so I needed to make some changes. So I made some changes and he's been cool ever since. But I was able to acknowledge he's still there. They're all still there. We're not trying to get rid of our parts. And I did appreciate that he was willing to, you know, give me a heads up, give me a chance to make some changes so that the system would be calmer. I ended up not taking a drink, nor did I eat off my food program when that happened. And I ended up being quite grateful and I appreciated everything he had done for me. 
um, in all the years before I stopped drinking, in the years that I was doing some healing with him, and my ability to be able to see him and acknowledge what he was sharing with me earlier this year when things were still tough. So that acknowledgement can be important. And we will get into some of these other um, A's later in the, in the coming weeks. But I want you to you know, consider this inner chatter that you often hear. Those are all your parts. And the idea is, is that we learn to see them as they are, to be aware, like we talked about last week, of them as your parts, and then acknowledge them. I see you, part that's worried um, that the bill's not going to get paid on time. I see you, the part that wonders, am I feeding the right cat food to my cat? I see you, the part that's like, when can I just get in a hot bubble bath and forget it? Calgon, take me away for anybody who might be old enough to remember Calgon. I see you part that wishes we could do that. I got you. I'm with you. You are not alone. So that's your call to action is start to acknowledge all of those different parts of you as you become aware of the thoughts, the impulses, the emotions that you're having, acknowledge those parts, acknowledge, oh, I see you. I appreciate you showing up. Appreciates in a couple of weeks, but we can do it a little early too. So that's your call to action. Start to acknowledge. It can be very helpful to call out the name of the part, whether it's a real, I mean, like a person name, because I do have clients that all of their parts have distinct names. Or if you do like I do, I call them by their function. So my alcoholic part, my alcoholic drinking part, um, that's a part. Or my taskmaster, also a different part. Or the part that's worried about, am I feeding the cat the right cat food? That's a part, right? So acknowledge them. I see you. I know you're trying to help. That can be the first step for many of us in learning to work with our parts, build a relationship with them. Just like we like to be acknowledged, they also like to be acknowledged. So acknowledging them is not about changing them. It's not about fixing them. Because if you're trying to do that, you've got a different part. You've got a part that wants to change them. You've got a part that uh, wants to fix it. I have those parts too. But those are parts and not you with some self-energy. So sending you all love and hope that you take the practice into your week of acknowledging your parts, being aware of those thoughts and emotions as parts, acknowledging I see you part. So if you have any questions about your own parts work, drop them in the comments. Shoot me an email at laura at lauralively.com. Please comment and like below. Subscribe so you don't miss any of the weekly content. So until the next time, love to you and all of your parts.